starting recording. Okay. Yeah. I think we're good. And we're good. And yep. I got the audio and it's catching. Okay. Three, two, we are at the nine second marker. The marker. One. Yeah, the marker. The marker. Ah. The yeah, marker. What do you like? What is that? Like 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 Boston? You you're Bostonian? Whoa. I think I think that would be the Boston accent. Yeah, the See, marker. The marker. The yeah, marker. get to the marker. And we are back. This is Adventures of the Black Nerds. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Follow. Welcome. If you're on Spotify, follow. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. If you are wherever else, hit the follow notification button. Mm -hmm. So you can see all the craziness that we do. I am Baron J67. And I am T Jones. What's going on, bro? Bro, okay. So quick note that's probably not going to be quick. It's probably going to take a bunch of time. So. I didn't know how competitive I was. I always considered myself pretty lackadaisical. Um, nah. Guy. This is what, if I had to describe myself on paper, this is what I would tell people. Like, oh, you know, he just goes with it. Yeah. Like, I'm competitive as hell. So I could have told I, you that. Yeah. So I went to my doctor. My doctor was like, bro, you fat. And I was like, well, I know that. He was like, no, you don't. Uh -huh. I was like, okay. Um, it made me feel good because he was like, dude, you're big. We're not. You're not gonna be skinny. I'm sorry. Your frame just won't. You're never gonna be skinny. So we're not even gonna look at the chart. We're just gonna bring your gut down. And I was like, oh, that okay. makes me feel happy. <laughs> yeah, it made me feel happy. You know, I, I'll never forget. And once again, like I said, it's gonna jump to a side story. Yeah. I went to the doctor, and they were like, oh, you know, um, what's your ideal weight? You know, because we got to get you down. And I, I threw my number out there, right? And then she gave me this like dead. <laughs> Dead stare. Hey, like, can, I, can I ask? What? What was your ideal weight? Oh, so for me, I was like, oh man, if I can get to like 280, I'll be straight. Uh -huh. Looking like a middle linebacker from hell. Yeah, I'll be all right. 288. Okay. 280 ain't a bad number to think about. I mean, Nigga, it's going to take you some time. Red. That is red on the chart. That is bad. <laughs> I'd have to be like nine feet tall for that to be okay. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> I'd have to be an orc. I'd have to change classes, bro. I'd have to. Change, I'd, have, I'd, have to I'd have to. I'd have to. Uh, bro, I'm telling you, I couldn't. Be, I'd have to change my race. I'm I pretty sure. I'm in pretty, human measurements, I'm pretty like, sure 280 isn't like nothing like that. Cause bro, think about I'm, it. Medical charts, bro. Bro, you, you're not that tall. You're not that tall from what you were in high school. I, this is what I'm telling you. And this is why I'm saying yes. But you were like 300 when we graduated school. And that was bad then. <laughs> <laughs> is what's better, your rate now or 300? Well, oh, of course. Okay, oh, then. In the grand, I'm not stupid. In the grand scheme, scheme of things, yeah. that's where I want to be. Yeah. But she, I'm trying to explain to you her face because she thought I was going to say something magical. Like, oh, 180. <laughs> this and that. Like, I swear. She thought she was going to laugh at your ass. <laughs> I, I think I was born 180. Yeah. Like, actually, I was in middle school shopping for men's clothes, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, there was never a youth clothing. Yeah. It was husky to adult. Like, it went straight for, like, boop, boop. Hey, you need so, big man draws. <laughs> yeah, bro. Man draws. Man draws. Man draws. So, <laughs> back to the point. So I was like, you know what? Let me throw some money towards my. Let me invest in myself. Mm -hmm. And I went and picked up this bad boy, this, this Fitbit. A Fitbit. Fitbit. Now, what's funny is I actually invested in Fitbit a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, like, because I figured people was crazy enough to go and buy watches to, uh -huh. to track. And I was like, oh, I'm not gonna buy one. I'm gonna just invest it. <laughs> just invest like, it. Yeah, I think I got a couple shares. They got but, nin ninjas with Fitbits. Yeah, everybody got Fitbit. Everybody, everybody got their Fitbit. Everybody got a Fitbit. <laughs> uh, but then they remember they took a tank. Their stocks dropped because they had a problem syncing with iPhones. Yeah, that was and that was going on. And Can, my mom, do they have an app? Yeah, the app is dope. But there was a problem, and yeah. that's was what's going on in their stock well, I'm, drop. I'm asking because like I've been looking into getting a uh, like a smartwatch for my phone. I was wondering, like, do the app work with, like, smartwatches? Mom, I'm recording. I'll talk to you in a bit. Hey, mama. Mom. Mom. She booty-dodged you. 
I'm recording. Okay. <laughs> but yes, so there's an app. I recommend it. Fitbit. Now, Fitbit. now, I am super competitive. So yeah. we there's this thing called Weekend Warrior and Work Week Hustle. So you can compete with people. Now yeah. you can go and join random groups and all that crazy stuff. Which those people make you feel like crap, like you don't do no type of, of walking. Yeah. So that's why you find people around you nearby, or people you work with. And yeah. there's a work group. And I, for, for example, for today, I walked nine thousand seven hundred and fifty-one steps. Mm-hmm. That equated to four point five nine miles. I did that today. Yeah. I average around eight thousand miles, uh, eight thousand steps a day. Mm-hmm. Get a, I get a good four miles a day. Now, I still be losing. <laughs> they be stressing me out. This, the, man, you about to? If you tell me you you about to you been playing against your wife, you gonna always lose. Well, she's I beat her one weekend. Yeah, the one weekend. That's the only one to, you go get. I that's that's e- super early. That's and one. I, <laughs> See? Bro, bro, to beat. Okay, so my wife is a busybody. Uh, and she, his somehow, wife is a Viking, bro. <laughs> she like, is a Viking. <laughs> she is warrior class. If I had to put her in a class, uh, I would say uh, Elvish she, uh, warrior she, class. She is gutter. When the zombie apocalypse happened, I know where me and my family's going, bro. I think she, I think she carries like two knives on her. She has to. She's legit a Viking, dog. This is this is how bad it is, folks. I'm gonna give you a peek into my life. So when my dad is like, "Hey, B, um, I need some tools. I'm gonna come by and borrow some," he doesn't ask me. He'll he'll say, "Hey, ask Kylie if she has a so and so drill bit," and I'm like, "I don't what drill bit." He was like, "Just ask her. If she, just give me the phone. Put her on the phone. <laughs> give her the phone." <laughs> yeah. And she's like, "Oh yeah, I got the five eight drill bit." Da 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 da. Oh okay. yeah. Okay, uh, Kylie so is legit. Your dad. And I'm like, all right, it's bad. It, it's it's so strange. I'm uh yeah, man. She has toolkits, any tools in the house, they're hers. Yeah. Uh, all right, so go about it. Go, but now, yeah. Fit. So try to compete with her and my coworkers. So my dumb self, I be looking stupid out there, rain, sleet, or snow, early in the morning, walking laps, sweating before work. Then. Um, up in the office acting like I'm comfortable and I got sweat dripping down my face trying to cool off like you could be yeah. up there yeah. breathing like <sighs> okay. you angry? No, I just oxygen. 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 But basically I recommend if anybody feels like a couch potato and and you feel like you need to get up and get active, go buy a Fitbit. It will instantly change your life. Because you'll realize how inactive you are. Hmm. My first, so you know me, I'm a nerd. I like to run experiments and shit like that. So my first day putting it on, I did everything normal, nigga. When I tell you for 24 hours, I would do like 1,200 steps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> do you know that is nothing? That's nothing. That is not, that means I wake up, <laughs> roll to the bathroom, <laughs> shower. I don't even stand up. Roll out. And then roll to the toilet, use the toilet, and then roll to my closet. The whole time, I'm clearly not walking. Of course uh, not. And then I walk to the kitchen, and then I walk back, and then I walk to the car, mm-hmm. then I walk from my car to my desk, and I walk from the desk to the coffee room. Yeah. Coffee room to uh, to go talk to somebody, and then I walk back to my desk, then I walk to the car, then I walk home. Or walk to the car, and then I walk here. in the house, <laughs> and then I'm sitting right here in front of the camera. That had to be my life for a good long time. Yeah. So now it's drastically changed, and I'm on a new path, and it's a trip. Mm. Um, I respect working, it. Yeah. We even on weekends we go walk the mall. People know us as the family who walks the mall. You walk it's, the mall, bro. I, I get in. I try to get in fifteen thousand steps. No, you um, should go to go to what's the name. Go where? Rubidoux Mountain. Why? What? Just what? go do it. It's there's no AC. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it starting to cool down now. It's still hot, but 
It's gonna start cooling now. I would have been cool with that if you could park on the street, but now you gotta walk a little mountain. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Now I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. You gotta walk a little mountain to get to the big mountain. To the big mountain. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, nah, I'm good. Cause at that point I'm like, ooh, exercise. Ooh, done. <laughs> done. Yeah. It's funny. Oh, yeah. I've been I've been meaning to get back out there. I've been meaning to take the dog up there. See how that go. You ain't gonna do all that. Yeah, I want to. That's excessive. No, it's not. Early in the morning, before the sun is even up. What you mean? Hey. So, you're right. That's still hot. <laughs> <laughs> the sun will be peaking. No. <laughs> oh no, sunshine. <laughs> nah, but that's okay. cool, man. I'm glad that you were making that change. Uh, I need to stop BSing and make the change myself. I, mine's is more my eating habit. Because that. I eat horribly, and I don't eat a lot. I don't eat, like, a lot of bad stuff. I eat a little bit of food, like, once or twice a day, which is kind of bad. So, like, I'm sitting here eating, and then, like, I'll, like, two days out the week, I'll stop and get food from somewhere. And that'll be the only thing I'll eat for the day, because I'll go to work, do work, come home at night, Wake up in the morning, chill, then go back to work or on my way to work, get something to eat again. That's how my eating schedule works. My wife has been trying to change that. So it's cool that you have you started that process. And I, Let me, I'm i telling you, you got the right person in your corner because uh, yeah, your wife like, ain't going to steer you wrong. She eat this lettuce wrap. <laughs> so let me tell you how real this I walk so much at work. Uh-huh. We they got a candy jar up front, so I walked three laps, which was about about three quarters of a mile. Yeah, at, at the um at the site, the way the building is set up. Okay, and I walk in and they got a candy jar, and I went to grab one, and I opened it, and I was about to put it in my mouth, and one of the elders, she was like, "No," I was like, what? <laughs> "She snatched the candy out of my hand, threw it away, and then went off on me." It was like, "You just walked." Three laps. <laughs> I just watched you walk. You was out there sweating, and you gonna come in here, and the first thing you gonna grab is candy. No, and I was like, okay. Yes, I said yes, man. Um, I walk like, right back to that desk. Yeah, I went back to my desk. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Well, yeah. like I said, man, I'm I'm glad you you're making the change. Speaking oh, yeah. of oh. changes, yes, yeah, sir. Segway. 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 Yeah, man. PS4 has finally started their cross plat or cross play beta. So that was like a day ago they started that. So now I think the only game it's working for is Fortnite. But people yes. are pushing for it to work for more with more games. More AAA title games. So we decide we were we we've talked about this one time already. And yes. uh we're gonna address it now, now that they've actually started doing it, like our thoughts on it. Um, we right bef- before we started the podcast, we were actually talking about it, and I'm I'm okay with it to an extent. Um, I'm okay with it with it, it depends on the game, because like we were talking about with once you start or okay, well with PS4 cross playing, cross playing with PC gamers. This is just Fortnite PC gamers and Xbox gamers. But if it was just Xbox and PS4 cross playing with each other on AAA titles, uh, that's fair. But once you start putting PC in the mix, PC is a whole different race, man. That is, that's a scary thing to do because the advantage will always go to a PC gamer. Hands down. Yeah. So, uh, PC gamers can not only upgrade hardware, peripherals, etc. PS4 and Xbox gamers, pretty much the only thing y'all can upgrade, we can upgrade is storage space. That's it. Mm. And a scuff controller. And that's mm. it. You don't get no more difficult than that. So, um, how do you feel about the PS4 being cross played? And what do you think about it being cross played with other AAA title games, i.e., Red Dead, which is about to come out? I'm excited for that. Uh, oh, we can talk about that. Yeah. Second. Okay. So for me, um, I, I guess I'm an old head traditionalist in the sense that 
you, you start crossing a thin line. I'm all for the... Okay, I get it. Crossplay. That's what everybody wants. But it, it's it's good for the consumer. Crossplay is a consumer-friendly idea. Yeah, because remember I said the culture yeah. won. The yeah, culture the culture won. won on this. But you got to... People think they want something until they get it. You know what I mean? Everybody want to live on you Mars. Destiny fans out there, you yeah fickle or, fans yeah we could get on that in a sec too i'm trying to keep this tight mm -hmm. so I, my biggest fear is it's gonna be so played out that it's gonna it's gonna lead back to dedicated servers so we it's gonna go full circle and you'll see it it's gonna happen you're gonna have everybody wanting cross play then all of a sudden a month into it when you realize you can't finish out your season pat your season and get all the items that are for season six on Fortnite because you got some kid with a mouse and a three and a six hundred dollar monitor and a twenty five hundred dollar rig smoking you every five seconds so you can't <laughs> then what but, happened but I think you can turn that feat to turn the feature off. So keep no, that in but, mind too. No, I got you. But this is how many people do you know that play Fortnite go in and fix features? I'm thinking of the general kid. I'm not talking about the hardcore gamer. I'm talking about the mass, the one that just bought an Xbox just for Fortnite because well, everybody at their school is playing it. The majority. Okay. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? You're going to have all of a sudden dedicated servers, mm -hmm. and then it's going to lead back to everybody wanting to only play with people who run everything like them. It's too much variation. It feels like consoles are doing their best to become PC, and we've had this. I think we've had this talk. We've had. We had. Okay, my my fear is consoles were consoles are created, at least in my opinion, to keep things simple, level, and accessible to the masses. The reason I haven't dove fully into PC is because of cost and the forever upgrading of technology. Yeah. So I feel like the day I jump into PC all the way, it's gonna be me picking up a rig that I feel I can lean on for five years. I'm going to tell you the reason why I haven't fully and I started the year off with doing that is because I don't have a lot of PC friends. So like PC gaming is it's it very is it's very well, niche because you yeah. have to have friends to play most of your games. So like if you you got a bunch of people imagine if all the people we play with on PlayStation, Xbox had PC games too. You see what I'm saying? Or had PC to play video games. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard. I, and, that was just my point. My point. Well, let me, and let me, you know, jump in on that. The way I solved that problem was through streaming. Because I stream the type of games I'm going to play on PC or console. Or yeah. NL. You know me. I'm I'm very specific to what I'm going to play. Um. So the what happened was I found people who like the type of games I like. Mm -hmm. So I started adding them on stream on Steam, and they anytime they load up, and I I get a notification in the corner, and I'm like, oh, they're playing a game I play, Naruto Ultimate Shinobi Striker. Yeah. Oh, uh, Battlefield whatever. Oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. They that's the best way in our for, so I would say Reddit, Discord streaming because mm -hmm. you like you but guess what that like you said that's all niche yeah that's literally diving into that world if, exactly play that game and you know people tend to not vary too much if they're playing hardcore rpgs they're rare you know yeah you're not gonna really find a lot of variety yeah you know gamers out there like that they play what they play and that's what they play yeah so um, especially in that streaming discord world mm -hmm. that's a that's a it's a whole different animal but uh, back to animal. back to the cross play Fortnite. yes yeah. thank you um thank you because you know me i go off topic hardcore mm -hmm. we both uh, do. i now, think i started that one my bad <laughs> now the, the thing with with this cross play it i'm excited for it because first off the community got what they wanted i love when the people get what they want i'm all for that but at the same time where where do you draw the line? Are you going to have servers where they're like, hey, just give you a heads up. Keyboards are here. Because now I'm I'm kind of segueing into Xbox announcing d default keyboard and mouse support. Because mm -hmm. now, they have, you know, they have different ways you can do it. But now it's set up to where 
they're well they're gonna st they're talking about doing it to where it's gonna be default where you could just plug in your keyboard and mouse and go. Now, but somebody on Twitter was talking to one of the devs and I can't believe I forgot his name and I'll try to put it in the comments. Um, he was like they would be separate room, separate servers. Like, hey, this server is gonna be key there's keyboards in here. You you know you yeah. gotta have because it a the, the fact that somebody with a keyboard and a mouse can sit here and shoot my ankle when I'm behind a wall versus somebody with a controller and you only got so much range of motion. Like it, it's it's completely you're dealing with two different animals. Yeah, and you instantly change the whole game. Yeah, uh, I, I agree. That's why I say specific game. See, when I look at like battle royale games, battle royale games are so you die, start over. Mm -hmm. You die, start over again. Mm -hmm. um, I I don't look at it as, and to be honest, we've always had the cross play, you yeah. know, conversation, but it didn't yeah. really like this shit need to happen until Fortnite came out, and until Xbox did it with Fortnite with with PC gamers on Fortnite. So people really want cross play because it's just more people playing it. You got two hundred thousand people's now playing. One game, right, at any given time of the day, right? 200,000 people play in this game. And 200,000 people is based off of the views I see. So we're just going to yeah. use that number. That's not the specific number. But 200,000 people watching this game, right, or playing this game. You get Xbox people, PlayStation people, P PC people all playing this one game that means they all have the opportunity and the chance to meet up with each other it's just faster games more games slower queuing times this, this sure. that and the third you get all of that 100%. fortnite it, this is why i said specifically certain games with fortnite i'm not stressing that because i don't look at fortnite as like a un until you start talking about fortnite tournaments and things like that they're gonna have to regulate that because yeah. this is why they have like okay they got Fortnite tournament PS4 or Fortnite tournament Fort it's just Fortnite then you got Fortnite tournament Xbox that's specifically saying you need a controller to play this or you can play with whatever you want to play with whatever because we all know keyboard and mouse reign supreme we've all seen it how it happened we're only talking about Fortnite now but think about all of the keyboard and mouse players that jump into uh, Rainbow Six Siege. You see what I'm saying? And play against these people who are using... The bullet mechanics are that real. Exactly. Like, so that, you... like, I can kill you. I can't hit your whole body, but your leg is poking out through the doorway and the behind the shield. Pow! But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you one streamer that when every time I, every time I see him playing, right, and I didn't start watching him until we started playing PUBG. The dude's name is Shroud. I'm pretty sure you know who he is. A lot of people know him. But he was a professional CSGO player. Uh, and now he just streams. But he plays Battle Royale games, shooter games, stuff like that. The dude is nice on PC, right? And the dude is nice with the sticks, too. You, you can, He's nice with, these, with, with the PlayStation 4 controller. So I look at that and I'll be like, man, like, yo, is that just... A talent like a god given talent, or is it just because it looked like he playing with a mouse and keyboard? Like the dude is just making shots that I would never. And the reason why I'm, I bring him up is because the the when the beta was out for the PlayStation Four for Call of Duty Blackout, he was playing it, and the dude looked like he was using mouse and keyboard, but he was not. He's just a natural beast because the beta came out in increments. It came out Xbox first. And then for like, it was only like four days for Xbox. Then it was like a week or seven days for PlayStation 4. And then it was like another four days for PC or whatever. The dude was nasty. So I look at that and I'm like, man, is it really a difference? But then I turn around and look at games like Destiny and I look at Fortnite. Even Fortnite. You seen like the fastest builder on console? He's just no. as fast. Just as fast as any one of your favorite, you, you, you see, so it's like, ah, is this? I question myself. Is the skill gap really that far apart? Now let me and let me say this: hard work and time will always beat out somebody with skill who's being lazy. I butchered the quote, but these dudes work hard. Yeah, they live. 
the people you're talking about. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's that that sounded like a Reno 911. <laughs> right. <laughs> like huh? Hey, no. hey, but no, I got you though. I got you. They live that. Yeah. So I don't those are outliers. Yeah. Those are dudes who could probably beat us with their feet. You know what I mean? Like though like the dude, them type of dudes. Yeah. I'm talking about the run of the mill. Oh, uh, run of the mill getting, you know, plain and simple. We know on average somebody with a mouse and keyboard and a whatever refresh rate monitor and a 220 GTX water cooled 30 fans i20 blah 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 is gonna wreck you and your little xbox one s and your scuff yeah i don't know man I, I, I just get the question i get to question it i really do get the questioning it the, because the, i expect it to whoop ass when it comes to controller because it's all i do but when pc god number one four four five nine seven <laughs> jumps on console sticks and he destroying me what am I to say? Am I just whack? I know I ain't just whack. What 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 what's going on here? And I'm not gonna disregard individual skill. I am not because yeah. that would be that'd be ignorant of me. But one thing I will say is we know that okay, if it didn't matter, why would they come out with different tiers for each console? Why would there be a PS4 Pro? Why would there be a regular PS4. Why would there be an Xbox, Xbox One X, uh, Xbox S? Do you know what I mean? You can, and they we, say it's you, visual. I know it's visual, but guess what? If visuals didn't matter, everybody be running potato mode, getting super KD. Uh, super KD. It's it's funny though because like a lot of people will dumb down their their oh, graphics. Yeah. Like if I was playing Quake, I would dumb that to down to it. make a difference. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And even, even you uh, can. Fortnite, that yeah, see that 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 argument can go different ways, especially when you say when you say that, because there's a lot of people that that may have the PS4 Pro or whatever, but don't utilize it, or have the Xbox One S, but don't utilize it the way they're supposed to, or have True. don't don't even have the TV that, to utilize what they have. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Whereas, um, you know, PC gamers, the sky's the limit with them. You see yes. what I'm saying? Now with, now don't get me wrong. Now knowing, that, now, now knowing that, going off of what you just said, knowing that with PC, sky's the limit. As much money as you get your system, the more realistic your game will become. Like you get all of a sudden got God rays on Fortnite. Like, yeah, but then look, you, but see, like I said, this is why you can go down the hole because a lot of these games have it. The, the their PC could run three thousand frames per second, but this game may be capped at this. 60. You see what I'm saying? Or is that? But that's not even the that's not even really the outlier here because naturally nine times out of ten, or let's just say eight times out of ten, a PC gamer runs into a console gamer, he gonna destroy him. Because I can give you I can show you plenty of examples when it comes to multiple different games. Not just Destiny, because I play Destiny 24-7. I can show you with uh Rainbow Six. I can show you with PUBG. PUBG naturally is a PC game. You see? So when they're creating these games that are PC games, say something. Hello? Oh, okay. I thought you cut out. But when they're creating these games, these PC games, uh, or they're like, okay, for example, look at, look at, we were just talking about you getting the Switch. We'll get into that in a minute, right? You just said Warframe may be coming to your Switch, right? Yes. Warframe is a PC game. Yes. And it's going to your Switch. Yes. You're not going to be able to max out on the graphics and all of that shit with the 100%. Switch. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. With me, I don't I the only thing that gets to me is the the skill gap between mouse and keyboard and controller. Because I don't care how your game look or whatever, if I'm maxing out my Xbox whatever for the 60 frames that this may get the game may be only not at 4k you probably just upscaling your shit just because you can because you hot shit with the big pc excuse me so 
But I, st- you know, and then, like I, and then it's Fortnite we're talking about. It's fucking Fortnite. Excuse my language. It's Fortnite. So yeah. Fortnite is continuous. Yeah. So a lot of people yeah. are going to do it anyway. And then when yeah. people die, it's just, oh, yeah, let's start another one. With Battle Royale games, like you said in the beginning, you know, wrapping it full circle because we really can't go off days on this. Yeah. Game. But back to, you know, just all around Battle Royale, Royale games where the whole point is. Yeah, you got to yeah. kill. Oh, you died. Okay, try again. It works, it works perfect. You get unlimited quarters. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Crossplay, no problem. Mm-hmm. Now, it will be a problem when it comes to competitive, like you said. So, all in all, I like the idea. I just wonder where does it stop? Man, I don't know. I don't know. I remember you saying that, one time, you know, about, you know, even the, the lifestyle or, or the, the, the community when it comes to, like, the games. Like, with PC games being PC games and, you know, now that mentality is being brought over to console. That was the, you know, that was a conversation we had and we were not torn on it, but because I understand where you were coming from and I think you understood where I was coming from when we had it and we don't really got to get into it too much, but even that thought process of the games being that way, you know, some people like yourself may not be too into that because now developers can go about it in this slower place, this pace way. Now, the perfect game to talk about, which we kind of, this is kind of a segue, is Red Dead Redemption 2. Yes. The reason why I say that is because they had a hell of a run with Grand Theft Auto 5. Five, I'm yeah. talking a hell of a run with Grand Theft yeah. Auto 5. Still, it's, it's been consistently one of the top 10 sold games. It has that to game, be. That game still runs for anywhere from 45 to 60 bucks. So imagine so, Grand Theft Auto five hit two generations of console gaming yes it started off on 360. ps3 360 and jumped immediately into the brand new ps4 and um xbox one and it, it was it ran. literally was the headline game yeah that it, it oh go can ahead you, can we acknowledge that this game will run through a whole cycle yes this will be the first co- and once again this kind of goes back into what I was talking about with like PC games culture and style. Yeah. Console. When have you ever had one game? Fortnite is the next one. PUBG. Fortnite is it. It these games are going through a whole and gen- Fortnite they is still early off. access. This, the fu- and th- thank you. <laughs> and don't even get me started on that. I'm not going down that road today. It's still yeah. that though, no, that's what amazes me. They're in like season a billion. <laughs> how do you how do you have microtransactions for a beta game? Period. You, you know what? It, but, it okay, but at, you know, with Fortnite, with them, I I think Fortnite gets a pass from a lot of people because it feels complete to them. It's titled as early access, but a lot of people don't look at it as early access because of all of the updates. They they could literally leave that game alone. And just continue yeah. to do what they're ha- what they're doing, and, never, and yeah. m- make the adjustments that they need to make. And when I say leave it alone, I mean keep the early access title, keep the the, the style of the way they roll out their seasons and shit. Because now oh. you now you got other games copying the whole season thing, i.e. And, Destiny. Yeah, Destiny and, has seasons. Call of Duty good. will have seasons in it. Oh yeah, that's something that we didn't even talk about is how. That rolled over from PC culture, the whole early access gig. Mm-hmm. How did that become okay with console? Like people, I got sucked into it with Ark, uh, PUBG, and well, see, I, was I think now, with now. Let me tell you this, and people, I want everybody to go check this out, and I'm gonna make sure Travis puts this link in the description. Yeah, yeah. Jimquisition. Jim I don't like shouting out shows, but Jimquisition, he did an amazing video on why video games at nowadays price point should be free because of the culture and the way things are going with Michael. Yeah. Destiny would oh, have no, way- we did talk about this on here. Oh, we did? We did okay. talk about this on here. We'll, I'll make sure to send you the link for the video Yeah, because it makes it, it's more and more becoming true. The fact that you can go to best uh, GameStop right now. And I want to say, well, not right now, but last week 
uh, Destiny 2 base was like $10 brand new. Mm-hmm. Now, what does that tell you? If you gave it out for free, you'd have more players and more people would buy the DLC. I'm going to tell you to use a different example. Well, Fortnite... I'm, I'm so, going to tell you, I'm I'm tell you to now. use a different example because I get what you're saying. With Destiny, I wouldn't use that example because a lot of people left that game and a lot of people didn't play that game because of the state where the game was at itself. Now, Fortnite, think of Fortnite. Fortnite when double pump and triple pump, quadruple pump, you know, quintuple pump, when that was a thing, when uh, when that was a thing, people were still playing Fortnite. They were annoyed by it. People hated it. But nobody was ever saying, I'm done playing Fortnite because of the triple pump, the double pump. Whereas with Destiny, people literally said, I'm not playing this game no more. I don't want to play it because of the game itself. So I get what you're saying. That's the only reason why I said to use a different example. I, I'm going to stick with my example because that wouldn't have been a problem if they would have mirrored the Fortnite model. No, it wouldn't. It, you're, you're, you're talking... Fortnite, Fortnite's proven that. Imagine if everything about everything about destiny 2 outside of the dlcs that came out the what the last three or has it been two this is the third one yeah okay so the last three dlc outside of the last three dlcs imagine how many more people would be on destiny look they gave it out with humble bundle i wonder how their numbers spiked by giving it out in a service they they gave it out a month before forsaken came out it became free the month Forsaken came out. So now, think about what you're saying because yes. for, Forsaken came out at a $40 price point for just Forsaken. Yes. But then they turned around and said, oh, okay, cool. You don't have the other DLCs? 60 bucks for the other DLCs plus Forsaken. Oh, okay, cool. You just want Forsaken in the annual plus? $89.99 for this. Oh, cool. Bang. You want the, you want the whole package? $99.99. So that was, they gave it out at the opportune time because you couldn't get anything. You couldn't, with Fortnite, imagine if Fortnite, like for for example, Fortnite's free. For, oh, gotcha. My whole thing just broke. <laughs> you said my whole fine. thing just broke. But um, <clears throat> with Fortnite, have- yeah, with Fortnite being free, the only thing people pay for, obviously, is V-Bucks. You know, when they want to, they use the V-Bucks to buy the season pass. They use the V-Bucks to buy the skins and all of that stuff. <clears throat> Fortnite hasn't hit a plat, hasn't hit that stage yet where people are, are so fed up with the state of the game that they won't play it. Fortnite has never hit that state, po- that state yet. Grand never- Theft Auto, any Grand Theft Auto has never hit the state that Actually, Destiny has hit. You're right. In comparison to Destiny, yes. <clears throat> Now look. So the and but point, oh go ahead. The point is <clears throat> so okay, let's take it all the way back. Because what people ignore is that all that Fortnite and all these popular games of service games, all they're doing is following the um the damn so, so mobile gaming model. That's, that's exactly what, yeah. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. Let's be honest. That's all it is. It's it's Candy Crush on console shooter version yeah oh i want to get this but i know i can't play it in time season ends and i want to just john, buy it I want the john wick outfit yeah. let me buy it. You, you know what i mean so knowing that i believe that if all console because if that's the route that this is where it all seems to be leading to our most successful games are games our what our most successful games that are currently running that are top 10 sold games month in, month out. Either it's going to be a Bethesda game, Skyrim, Grand Theft Auto 5, which people still buy in shark cards. You see them all day up in GameStop buying shark cards. Mm-hmm. Um, Destiny, Destiny's picking up. Destiny's always in rotation. Even at its worst, people are still playing it. Yeah, but not on the level of those games. No, no, not on the level. But what yeah. I'm saying is that's why I said see using Destiny as that example is bad because no, saying, it no, just started picking I'm up. Saying, I'm, what I'm telling you is Destiny would have fixed its problems by making it. Hell not, it, no. 
I it can't believe you s- you can't it say that helped. after. <laughs> no, it, it would not. Helped. I'm telling listen, you, it would not. Listen, listen, you're not listening. I'm listening I'm, to you. Listen, Linda. I'm telling you, they would not had a big a, biggest fall off as they did if it was a free game and not a sixty dollar game. That's not true, you, dog. What you need to understand is people love free, and when we prove it, I used to work around a bunch of rich folks all day selling insurance and other yeah, type of crap. But you're talking, they, okay? They so if you Pen, You're a free pen. They were damn near in line. Bro, Rich people, bro. people who could afford to get custom pens. These bro. are old. You don't want for look at Fortnite, bro. Fortnite, bro. Destiny two broke records, and they still yeah. don't do no numbers compared to no other game out there. <laughs> so bro. what I'm saying is, people still bought oh, the game. Okay. People bought let's, the game. Let's take, it back. let's take it back one step and answer me this: If it was free, would more people play? No. I no, it would not. If 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 it was free now with Forsaking, yes, people would still no, play because no, it just no. picked up. If the but base game of Destiny was free, would more people? Play? All right, okay. Now are you talking free when it first came out? Yes, free that's after the two DLCs. No, that's what I'm you talk. You said two. You said that's the two what, DLCs. No, oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> I'm telling you, without any DLC, that's why I said you weren't listening. I said without any Bro. DLC purchases. Without any I, DLC, all that you got to pay for. Base game, free at release, it would have did way better. You didn't say, you didn't say all that. You that's, didn't say at release. And, you didn't say release why, why because yeah, you when you brought up when you brought that up when you listen when you brought up uh, Destiny two and compared it to Fortnite, you didn't say at release. That's different. Any game at release for free, everybody buying it. And guess what? And that's why I said the fall off wouldn't have been as bad. Yeah, because I we, and I no. Okay, that no, that was the point I disagreed with. The fall off I think would have been the same because there's nothing keeping me here. I I got it for free. What's the point of me staying? I can walk what? any. You, I think a lot more people would have walked away if it was free because it was free. I had nothing invested in the game. Let me tell you this, and that's that was our point we were talking about. It wasn't talking about the other stuff. But this is why I said you would have to follow the model. Okay. Oh, ah. Remember all the microtransaction issues that popped up with Destiny early on? What oh, microtransaction? Why is, this emote, why is this emote only unlockable through buying gl- Glimmer? Or what was that? What is that? Star Silver? Uh, do you know? There was only the- there was only one that was that that you had to buy, and that was okay. for that was uh, War Mine that just came out. There was no. never any war. There, the only issue they had with microtransaction stuff was the issue when uh, they level cap. They capped the amount of experience you were getting from because when people uh, when you played, you weren't getting the same amount of experience you got once you hit right. fifty. That was the only thing. Well, so microtransactions, I don't think, in my eyes, was never a problem with Destiny. Because Destiny yeah. never had any microtransaction problem in in my eyes because you were still able to get I proved that on here. I had damn near everything just from playing the game. Yep. When, excuse that me, when true. it first came out. But I, I just don't with the free the motto of being free, right? Don't get me wrong. I, I totally get it and I have agreed with that since day one. Because we talk about how much money these companies make on the back end. So from DLCs, from microtransactions, the example we use was Star. The example we used when we first had this conversation was Star Wars, because look how much money Star Wars made, and people were pissed off because oh I had to pay two hundred dollars. Damn near you have to average paying two hundred dollars to get the the final character in the game that everybody wants to play with. You see what I'm saying? So that's bad. Like nobody plays that game no more. Yeah, or a small number because I know I don't know. Anything. Shit, I can't tell you the last well, time I, I thought about Star Wars Battlefront Two. So this jumps on it. So well, the point, the point with is, it be with being games being free, totally understandable. I feel like all games should be free because of the money. Look at Grand Theft. Auto, look how much money Grand Theft Auto Five made, bro. Sharp look card. how much money Grand Theft Auto Five made. But but you know you know what else though. Not only did they have more content in terms of story and things to do. When I say story, I'm talking about missions. Yeah. Um, they're heist, but they gave you cosmetics. People love cosmetics. It is crazy to me how much people love cosmetics. Because that's the only thing that's keeping Fortnite going. 
the skins. instant repetitive gameplay and skins. New skins. Instant repetitive gameplay and skins. Every day it's a new skin. Every oh. day it's some new skin out oh. there. And, and then it, you see they start tying it into cell phones. Samsung uh, has an exclusive skin where you look like you're wearing the Galaxy on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they even they even yeah. hack. You seen the the Pikachu hat? Oh damn! Yeah, I they got a see. Pikachu hat. You can hack Pikachu as a skin of your character wow. on Fortnite. So, but like, yes, th- those that, is now. So now I'm saying that. Imagine if Destiny Two, and I'm putting a lot of walls, and I'm not trying to convince you. But I'm just trying to make the point because I think Destiny's failure is in its price points. Mm, see, nah, man. And let me and let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. You, it, <sighs> Destiny. Okay, tell me about what's going on new. We're, we're on Destiny two. Tell me what, All what's right, going so on. Uh, I'm with, a. Great. So they got the new raid. They dropped the well, starting from the beginning. In Destiny Two, they have uh, the Forsaken missions. Obviously, that's the storyline between Cade's death and you avenging his death. Right? Won't go into more too many details. The just you avenging Cade's death. We all knew that's what the whole thing was from the trailers, whatever. After you beat him, or after you avenge his death, uh, okay. They also have lore inside the game now so okay. the things everybody been complaining about since destiny one is in the game now you can read the lore inside the game the lore is also spread so far inside the game that there's always something new that you're learning right um they also had they also came out with the new mode gambit mode which is a pve pve vp uh game mode where you fight against em- enemies Bank moats, you kill a boss. First person to kill a boss wins. They drop more PvP stuff. Um, Iron Banner just came out this week or last week. It's uh, it's uh, it's gone now. They dropped the raid. This is the biggest raid Destiny has ever seen since Destiny One. Um, they they've been dropping new content every week since Destiny Two Forsaken had released. And when I say new content, I'm talking new lore, new missions, uh, new exotic quests, things like that. They think the game only been out for three weeks, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's only been out for three weeks. And so far, it's been something new every week to the end game. And based off of what we see, it's not stopping no time soon. Based off of our triumphs, they, they actually added triumphs inside the game now. They actually oh. added a... Huh? From my- like the books from yeah so the books now and what the books are is like specific they're like trophies or achievements inside the game that give you points that hat that shows you your, your point score of how much things you've unlocked inside the game and how much uh, uh, things you've done specific things you've done or items you have acquired on each character things like that they added uh collections which is something that People has been accessing Destiny One. They added this whole collection system where you can go back and get Year One weapons. Still some issues with that, but as of right now, what they've given, what they've given me, let me speak for me, it's been dope so far because I can go back and all I can always have access to a gun that I I had achieved. I think post War Mine. And the beginning of Forsaken. So in between that, if you had the gun and you dismantled the gun, it's in your collection. So you can always go get go back and get it. Like I said, there's still some issues. I won't get into it. Uh, the issues that I have with that. Um, what else they have? Uh, they, they just dropped new maps. Put it like this. After people beat the raid, after the first team cleared the raid, which it took them like 19 hours to do, they cleared the raid and that unlocked a new strike and new missions for everybody in the world of destiny. So everybody was able to go play this new strike. It's called the corrupted. And then that unlocked a new story mode. And then after unlocking that new story mode, every Tuesday upon reset, there's a new story mode that pops up that you do. Um, the leveling system is all different now. Well, it's kind of the same, but it's, it's a lot less forgiving. So the grind is the grind factors back there. 
So there's a lot of stuff in Destiny 2 right now. Um, other than other than the fact that some people, it, it's still a lot of things, it's a lot of lore stuff that people are still trying to find. It's a lot of um, exotics. Exotics are way harder to get now, so now it's actually exciting to get an exotic. Uh, right. Random rolls, obviously, that's everybody's key point is back. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff in Destiny 2 right now. Now, all in all, are you happy with the state of Destiny 2? Right now, yes. I'm happy with it. I'm like 9.5 out of 10 happy with it. What would saying. make it a 10 out of 10? What do you feel it's missing? If they would leave exotics alone, exotics are supposed to be powerful, exotics are supposed to wreck, stop listening to these fucking YouTubers and whatever complaining about exotics. If they would fix certain things in the collections, um, specifically, I said I wouldn't get into it, but let me get into it. Specifically, yeah. they... This is what threw me off. Random roles are in the game, but they have created, which are roles that they specifically pinpoint as God roles for certain weapons. So you can get, so put it like this. You can't retrieve from your collection any forsaken weapons that you've received because of the random role possibility from it. Uh... So... And I get that because that gives people the option to reroll weapons. Yeah, just constantly. But they have in the game curated roles, which are roles that they specifically say, this is the God role for this gun, right? In the game. But if I get that weapon, I feel like, or if I get that weapon, this is the role you gave to me. So why couldn't you have given all guns a specific role? That way, if I got it, Say I got this gun and it wasn't the role I wanted, right? And I dismantled it. I can always go back and get it. So a standard role for... Yeah, like a standard role for all these weapons or the role that you get is the created role. So that's the role you... That's the weapon you would always take out when you go to withdraw that weapon. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you can't do that. You can only go back and get po or pre-forsaken weapons, pre-forsaken gear out of the collections i don't like that because i'm playing you first of all destiny has always pushed away older weapons they don't want they want you to use the new stuff they don't want you to use the old stuff okay Perfect. now you give me the option to keep my old stuff but i like your new stuff so when i don't get the role i want if i dismantle it i can't pull it back out like i can't revisit the weapon maybe i didn't give it enough time things like that uh, yeah, know. maybe the meta, maybe you put out an update, the meta changes. So that's the the issue that I'm having with that. Um, okay. Apart from apart from leaving exotics alone, like I said, exotics are supposed to be overpowered. They're yeah, exotics. They either you make give them hard, up, make them, you know, yeah, yeah. You give up a specific slot to put this exotic here. I don't care what the world is saying. The exotic is supposed to kill me every time somebody shoot it at yeah. me. Right, um, yeah. they uh, so they're they're always talking about doing something, nerfing stuff. Leave that alone. Um, that collections, and um, the repetitiveness is still in the game. Sometimes, when you play strikes, I'm still running into the same strikes. That should be a that should have been addressed in D one. Stop. It should be like a checklist every time I go into the strike playlist. Play this strike, boom, that's check off if I stay in there. Because you're rewarding me for staying in the playlist. Don't punish me by giving me the same strike over and over again. I'm honestly shocked they haven't went to a dungeon crawling scenario when it comes to strikes. Where it just randomly generates uh, different, whether it's Vex, okay, you're going to fight No, Vex. they do. It's in it. But sometimes I don't want to play. It's the same mechanics. So now I may be, I may uh, be running against Vex, but I still got to go. I got to go open this gate by standing on these three players. But instead of me yeah. playing against Vex, it was it may be uh, Fallen this time. Or maybe Vex yeah. or maybe Scorn. You so they need more strike modes. Yeah. They need to, or they need to have like a checklist. If I play this strike first, 
I don't have I don't play, play this strike until I leave the playlist again and come back and then I have a chance everything starts over again. I if you. I stay in the playlist because that's what they wanted you, us to do. If we stay in the playlist, our the amount of rewards and the amount of experience we get doubles or we get a boost, we get a multiplier to it. Cool. You're rewarding me for staying in the playlist and not backing out, not leaving. So I constantly have a three-man crew going through these strikes. Boom. That's perfect. But don't stop giving me the same strikes. Like that's just annoying at this point because now I'm just running through the same strike, not really just, caring. I find myself literally running and dying cuz I don't care. There's strikes I don't even kill an enemy. I just run through. I got like two kills at the end of the strike because I'm tired of doing this stupid strike you. over and over again. So those no. three things you 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 give you fix those for me. Destiny is 10 out of 10. Destiny Forsaken it's 10 out of 10 because it, it's just so much put it like this. I've been playing the game for three weeks and I haven't even finished the game yet. I haven't even got to the last city on two characters yet. I just got to the, the last city on one character and I haven't, I haven't done the raid yet. I haven't done all that. None of that stuff. And so that's rare. For you. Exactly. And, so, and, that, and I honestly, I'm at a point now where I have all oh, the Carter five is out. Carter five the is Carter out. The Carter five. Carter Five is out. Of course, it would have, have been out by the time you hear this. Mm -hmm. uh, but oh, uh, I really did just get a text message from the phone. But um, <laughs> my my thing is, I want people to enjoy what they're doing. I play plenty of games that people don't like. Yeah, uh, I play plenty of games that people take dumps on. But, you, but why is but, that though? Because you're the true definition of a variety streamer. Oh yeah. Every oh. week you're playing multiple games. Yeah, and I'll that's play, like, to me that's yeah. dope. As like a as like a nerd as somebody in this space, it's something new. Cause I don't find my, I I it's rare that I jump on and watch. Like as of these past three weeks, I've been watching a lot of Destiny streamers. But before that, I was watching weird games that I've never seen. Like I've been watching um a whole bunch of other like survival games, and I've been watching people play Rust and. League of Legends and stuff like that. And these games, I mean, not they're weird to me because I've never played them. They're not weird games, but like, because I'm a shooter fighter game, you know, thing. But as as trying to be a variety streamer, and this is why I like variety streaming, is because it's something new every day. Some new game out there that you, it may be your favorite game and you've never played it. Yep. That's why variety streaming is dope. So let me tell you before we jump on because I want to spend these last few minutes because we're almost at time. Okay. Oh, we are well, dang man. Uh, I want to quickly say the reason I'm a variety streamer is because a big fear of mine, which it almost kind of happened, is I don't want to be known for game because mm -hmm. your fan base will come only because you're playing one game, and the moment you play something else, Ooh. your viewership will tank. Mm. But then again, I don't do things. I stop doing things for viewership because your life gets stressful. Yeah. I hit that road. I hit that wall. My everything for me got better once I started variety streaming. Mm -hmm. But I did. I was playing one specific game for a while, and it was not because I was trying to get uh, trying to get viewers. I just was enjoying the game, and it was for such a long time that I had a following around that game, and then I. Cause you know me, I, I have no problem. I got plenty of unfinished games. Um, yes, he does. Sorry. Unfinished game graveyard. Um, I have no problem away from a game. It's just because there's so many to play. Um, but that's why I don't like to be. I like to be a variety streamer because I like to have the variety, and I want you to know that any given day, I'm playing just Gaia Five, Wasteland Two, Two K Fifteen. Whatever, like one day y'all gonna I, jump on, he gonna be playing 2K. <laughs> oh, bro, best believe what like, that that life is coming. Yeah, um, I'm thinking about buying it for my Switch, mm -hmm. but okay, T talk so, about your I, Switch. Oh, uh, yes. before we get off, talk about your Switch. Okay, so I they had a sale on eBay, it was 15% off of anything, uh, anything on eBay, I think distributed by eBay mm -hmm. or something those lines, and Nintendo Direct had refurbished switches for 275 so i ended up um using the 15 percent off and i got it for 257 yeah so 
I got a Nintendo Switch 257 with a warranty, and I'm about to play the living hell out because mm-hmm. you know, I'm I don't know what I'm gonna get though. Part of me wants to get FIFA or 2K just so I can be playing. I'm gonna players. tell you I'm gonna tell you not to get those games off the rip. I think you should get a game that you're actually gonna play for a minute, get you something. I play the hell out of 2K and FIFA. Yeah, you do, but it ain't that long. Yeah. All right. So play. I, I think you should get like something. Get something you haven't played. I'll I'll probably get that Zelda game, Breath of the Wild or Breath yeah. of Wild or whatever. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick up the Zelda game now. Real quick, real quick. Red Dead Redemption Two is Ooh. gonna be a hundred, uh, hundred and five, and I'm not ready for that. I'm I'm really not. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a hundred percent with you. I don't think it's gonna be a hundred and five on. Uh, on regular PlayStation 4, I think it's going to be that on PS4 for the extras. The 4K so, shit. 4K stuff. Yeah. Because those packages are heavy. Yeah. And um, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, it's I don't think it's going to be 105 day one because they're not dropping online. They're going to do online just like they did Grand Theft Auto yep. 5. Yep. So I'm not prepared because I haven't cleaned my PlayStation's and my hard drive is full. I would have to buy a whole new hard drive. <laughs> I would yeah. literally have to buy a whole new hard drive for that because I'm just not ready. Like I'm not. Don't ready. PS4s have external hard drive support now? You can, yes. But yeah. my external hard drive that I got now, I'm not ready. Format it. Yeah, yeah I got I'm, you. I'm not. I'm just not ready. Like well, I've cool been. Is, oh, go ahead. Cool thing is, you ain't got to worry about it. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm keeping it up. Xbox and it does download up to it downloads automatic. Yeah. And it'll download right away. Well that's what we were getting it. I'm getting it on Xbox because uh mm-hmm. that's where you at and that's where everybody else is getting it. So I'll be playing that. But I just not oh yeah. You why am I talking about places? Oh I'm ready for the Xbox. Yeah, I got yeah, I got yeah. mad space on there. Yeah. <laughs> I got bad places. I got mad space on my D V D player. It's, you know what I'm saying? I, so, I think I'm gonna make so many videos about this game because of all the nuances within the game like i've been mm-hmm. listening to a lot of people talk about did you thing. did you hear you're going to be able to turn off your hub turn off the what your hub yes you're going to be able to tur- turn off your hub and literally run around oh imagine play because you know a lot of gay people play hide and seek oh. in video games with hub off so imagine going to like a town like hey we play hide and go seek it here <laughs> turn your hub off and i'll just kick back <laughs> bro i'm i'm super excited for this i'm I don't even care about the online because I didn't care much for um, Grand Theft Auto online. Uh, I'm the only reason why I care about the online for Red Dead Redemption is because of the Wild Wild West shit, the horseback riding, lever action, ass whoopings. I'm gonna be giving out wait, to you. Hey, remember, <laughs> I like the way it started off with the kill, uh, the death matches. Mm-hmm. That you're right. You'd be sitting there, then you do the. Uh, what was it? Uh, Just start Dead running. Eye. Everybody, yeah. Oh yeah, God. that shit was dope, man. I can't wait for that game. I really can't wait for that game because Remember the zombie mode? I didn't play that DLC. I actually did. I didn't I, because I was so hardcore into the zombies on Call of Duty. It was just so hard for me to play any of the because zombies on Call of Duty was the best to me because it was a natural horde mode game. Yeah. That's how it started off as a natural horde mode. Like literally, you gotta make it to round sixty four, and you gotta have the right guns. You gotta pack a punch your guns. You gotta have all the boost and shit. And then if you're the last one, you gotta know the route to take to to line up all the zombies. And it was just, it was I couldn't play any other zombie game. But that the game itself, ah, oh, Red Dead was my oh, shit. I can't wait for. I just can't wait for the online. I'm gonna destroy the 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 campaign. I know for a fact, that is the goal. The goal is to destroy the campaign. Like I'm talking about beating that shit in as fast as possible, and then do as much of the side missions as I can. And then when the online come out, just go ham, ham I'm on the online. T- I'm gonna tell you, I'm actually a little nervous because it comes out uh, three days after the. Fallout 76 beta. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just don't know what I'm going to do I, with my life. Like, I'm I, don't, I got work. I don't want to go to work. Yeah. I don't want to do nothing. I legit, if I didn't have young kids, I would legit take a Bro, listen. I would. 
Just being real. You know what I've been thinking of doing? Of and I'm gonna send you this video when we get off this is uh, building the ultimate PS4. Literally getting a portable PS4 so I can take to work and game at work. Like hardcore game. Like <laughs> like hardcore become that guy. Because I I miss so much when I go to work and then I miss so much when I get home because I get home and I don't want to play. Yep. Because I'm so stuff. tired. Yep. So I want to. Like, I just play in the morning. But then when I get up in the morning, I got things to do: wife, kids, son, dog. So it's like, ah, dang man, I don't know what to do. Like I, I really only been. That's why I haven't been streaming. That's why I haven't yeah. been streaming. That's why I haven't been playing as much as I should. Is because of that. That's why. Um. Because when I my schedule is so screwed, and I thought I could handle it, when I went back, got back from work, work, but it only got worse. <laughs> It only See, got worse. I wasn't prepared. I was not ready. It just got worse. So, only thing my saving grace is that my wife drives to work, so I get to sleep in the car. Yeah. So I stay up a little later now. Mm -hmm. I used to stay up till ten, or um, but now I'm cranking it to eleven thirty midnight. Um, been putting out a lot of videos like crazy. I want to get. I need to stop BSing. I want to get deeper into my editing, um, and I want to. I really want to um, add a little more twang to my editing. Twang. You can get it. Yeah, I want to throw a little more to it. A couple zoom in, zoom out cuts. Yeah. I want to really take, put some more time into my edit because mm -hmm. I know right now it's just more or less preset, record. I do a lot of one shots. Like, I think 90% of my videos. Hey, you going to get what you hard. get. <laughs> yeah, you got this. You going to see me. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but I think it's dope. Your BL cut, but but yeah, but Red Dead Redemption Two. I'm gonna make a crap ton of videos. Um, I'm gonna have fun with that one. Mm -hmm. I think that's gonna be the game because I thought it was gonna be Shinobi Striker, but after I beat the main story, I kind of fell off with it. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been playing. I play it any chance I get, but I the it doesn't grab me like I thought it was, and there's something missing. I Bro. think they needed to add more fighting modes. I'm uh I'm literally thinking of getting a scuff for my PS4. I mean for my Xbox. I got the scuff for my PlayStation, man, and uh with the pedal shifter. Yeah, man, you need this. You need the pedals. If you ain't got the pedals, you don't know what you're doing with yourself. I'll tell you that much. I don't know. So I don't know. Yeah. I think I do alright. You do alright, but imagine if you had pedals though. I, my fear you know my biggest fear of why I've never got custom controllers or any of that is that I'm gonna be so reliant on it that if you handed me a regular controller, I'm. Afraid. Oh yeah, you can't give me no regular controller now. <laughs> no, 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 that you that probably, shit don't work. You probably keep, like I'm biggest who? <laughs> you probably keep your controller in your backpack. Like, oh, where we at? You can't. All right. But but this is yeah, only fuck, this is yeah. only for shooters though. This is only for shooters. So uh, if this shit break, I ain't playing nothing. Y'all go hundred dollar controller hell to the no no no. I'm not playing. Hey, you want to play Call of Duty? Nope, I ain't got no controller. But I, I thought you control. had like four. Nope, I ain't got no controller. That's my. That's the only reason why I never bought a fleet, never got a scuff. A, the reason never. why, the reason why, what made me get into getting a scuff is I always wanted one. Back when Modern Warfare Three was, I always wanted a scuff. The reason why is because, or I'm sorry, Black Ops Two. Mm -hmm. I always wanted a scuff because I jump shoot a lot. So mm. I like to jump. I like that. That's the only verticality in video games I like. I like to one jump and shoot and go f and particularly go for headshots. Not accidentally because a lot of you, you excuse me, a lot of you uh, so-called pro FPS shooters be getting accidental headshots. I'm talking about going for the headshots. So when you jump shoot, it's just it's a better it's another thing and it's better. So I always try to do that. So then when I realize that you can get a controller with a paddle or a button on the back that you can assign to X where I don't have to take my thumb off my my look, aim. my aim. Oh, it just made it 10 that times better. Oh, yeah. that I get it on paper. It makes all the difference in the world. But for me, I just I already know how I am. If I go from one game to another, mm -hmm. I have to read. If I were to pick up Destiny right now, I damn near would want to start off just 
to get the feel back. I'm gonna tell you though, the 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 one thing that's beautiful about Destiny when it comes to like right. jumping okay. back into it, yeah, about jumping back into it is the fact that they have PVE and most of the people who jump into it start back in PVE because they want to get like the guns, they want to level up, do this, that, and the third. That's warm up. And for these new enemies they got in this game, you need it. Because they be sidestepping and shadow sneaking and shit. <laughs> the wobble. <laughs> that was funny. I'm not going to lie. For the ghouls and goblins. <laughs> hey, but we legit got to do like a Halloween special. We should ooh. shoot live. I don't know. Shoot, shoot live and, uh, and dress up. I'm going to come right. here. I'm gonna, You're stupid. I'm, I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna come here dressed up like Aubrey. Um, I'm gonna be like Aubrey. I'm gonna dress up like Aubrey. I'm gonna get the the full thing with the with the fresh lineup. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do like the Steve Harvey. Well, Steve Harvey. Hey, That's you should you <laughs> you should definitely do the Steve Harvey though. You should definitely do the Steve Harvey. Well, folks. We are way over time. Yeah, we are. Damn. Yeah, yeah I'm telling you, it's Destiny, man. Destiny do that to us. In, in, oh, yeah. Damn, yeah, man. I, yeah. And it's funny. You don't even play Destiny. <laughs> and the even... fact that I can keep up. Like, I, that's why. But you know what? I know how much of it. For me not to talk about Destiny in this day and age is. It it, it belongs in the culture, bro. It, yeah, it's it here. does. It does. That would be like me trying to talk crap on Fortnite. Whether you like it or not, it is a big part of the gaming culture today. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not saying you have to play it, but to not acknowledge it is to be blocking yourself from a whole genre, a yeah. whole field of gaming. Oh, you and, heard, oh, you heard about what uh, the famous um, Fortnite streamer was doing to people in their in his chat? No, whatever. <laughs> Anybody oh. that said Fortnite's dead got blocked. <laughs> oh, Ninja! Oh, yeah, yeah I did block see that. Them. <laughs> I, I need all the mods to hit the block button. I can't wait to say some shit like that. I need oh. all my mods to start blocking. Man. We need to stop. I'm Baron J67. Check um, out all the links below. We're trying to get merch. Um, I'll, I'm gonna get that together. Merch, 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 merch. Uh, um, we'll get it though. And yeah, Baron J67. Check the links. Um, I got a lot. T Jones. Everything is in the description. Yeah, it's in there. Oh, tone deaf radio. Tone deaf. Actually, deaf shout out. Network. What is uh um? Tell everybody. Do you know what time you guys are shooting? Fridays. I think we're shooting for six to six thirty. Okay, so Pacific time. So Urban Rec. Urban Recon. Um, Friday. Friday. Check it out on Spreaker dot com forward slash tone deaf record. Uh, Tone Deaf Radio. Uh, you said 6.30? Pacific. Yeah, 6.30 Pacific. So stay tuned or tune in 6.30 Pacific time for an episode of that. Check them out. Peace. Peace.